Hello and welcome to MTG 808 Junior. Um, I'm Sean Pottinger, and today I'm going to talk about uh, my experiences going to the pre-releases um, last weekend here in Hawaii. Um, it was a really awesome experience for me. Um, got to submerge myself in the Magic community for a couple of tournaments, like a day and a half. I played in three pre-releases, um, and really just got to talk with a lot of different people about the project that I'm working on. Um, so first of all, Amoket is just really fun, um, and I had a great time at the pre-release. I, the, yeah, the, the limited format seems really good. Um, I'm, I'm excited to play this format. Uh, but, so a couple of, uh, awesome things that happened at the pre-release, uh, first and foremost, I got connected with this guy named Jason Goldstein. Um, he's a player... Uh, here in the Hawaii community, I've played him at um, the local card shop a couple of times, and um, apparently he has a magic club up in Kailua, which is on the northeast side of the island. My clubs are on the southwest side of the island, um, but so they're kind of far away, but it's just awesome to, to hear that he's got um, a magic club going up there. He runs his through the Boys and Girls Club, um, and I think he just started a Facebook page, so the name of his Facebook page is Windward Magic. So if uh, you know if you're curious about seeing what they're up to, go check them out. Um, I convinced him to start running some standard popper tournaments. Um, he said this past Friday they ran their first standard popper tournament, and the kids took to it. Um, they they really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna try to set up a field trip for my club kids to head over there. Hopefully next week Friday, um, and. You know, I'll see how many kids are not interested in doing it. Um, but I, I think that playing a bunch of standard popper is a really good scaffold to get the kids ready to play, you know, real real standard. So I, I'm i curious to see how many kids um, take me up on this opportunity to play FNM. Uh, like, you giving up your Friday night <laughs> um, to play is a little bit different than a, a Sunday day. Um, especially for kids in high school, but uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm excited about it though. Um, yeah, especially after I, I had my first uh, two-headed giant standard popper tournament this past Sunday, which I'll talk about in another video. But that that went really well. The standard popper format is uh, is looking real healthy. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be partnering with Jason and Windward Magic. Um, the, the, uh, the second point that I want to make is just I was blown away by how many people were just very supportive of the community. Um, Ali Ho came up to me and just gave me a whole bunch of sleeves. Um, he wanted to you know support the kids and shout out to Alika because I just used those sleeves to sleeve up the Amoket uh, Popper Amoket Popper Cube. The Amaket Popper Cube is sleeved up in, in hoedown sleeves, compliments of Alika Ho. So thank you, Alika. Um, and I just got to talk with a bunch of people about my project. Um, as I've said a couple times, I'm writing, or I'm hoping to write my master's thesis about this, um, this project, and just got to talk to a, a ton of people that were excited about it and had ideas and got to network with people. So um, shout out to the Magic community for just being supportive and helping me out. The more I get to talk about this with people, the um, the more real and uh, high quality I think that it can become. Um, so yeah, shout out to the Magic community. Um, and then the third point that I wanted to make about the pre-releases um, is I talked to uh, this guy Rex who has two sons uh, that have been playing Magic, Julian and Luca. And they live nowhere near the schools that I work with, so they haven't been able to make it to the tournaments that I've been running. But um, Julian's been, been getting pretty serious about Magic. He lost in the finals of a GPT for Vegas. Um, it was a modern GPT. Uh, so, you know, he, Julian's getting real good. He, he did really well at the pre-releases over the weekend. Um, and, and Luca enjoys playing, so it's, it's encouraging to see Rex... Um, you know, get his kids excited, um, supporting them in their hobbies, um, and he, I, I mention him not only because he's got two kids, but because 
he spends his summers in Seattle and turned me on to um, this summer camp program that uh, he's he's been sending his kids to. So um, I just found out about this the other day, but Blue Highway Games up in Seattle does an MTG summer deck building camp. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. But basically, it looks like they run a four-day camp, um, and they offer three different weeks throughout the summer that they that they run it. Um, and throughout the each day, they they have the kids for four hours from one to four p.m. and they focus on something different. So first day one is sealed two-headed giant. Um, day two is um, three-pack draft. You know, just regular drafting. Um, day three is team drafting and day four is commander um, and it looks like they're just kind of introducing the kids to these different formats um, I like the the sequence that they do them in because uh, it, it kind of falls in line with what I've talked about on this channel in terms of you want to start with a partner so they play sealed two-headed sealed is it's not an easy format to get to learn how to play Magic in, but if you already know how to play Magic, it's a really good format to start um, taking it a little more seriously, right? Because you have a partner, you get to work together. Um, so Sealed to a Giant, then Drafting. Um, drafting is pretty complex, but it like limited is the way to start, right? Team Drafting, get them starting to think a little bit bigger picture, right? It's not just my draft, it's the team draft. Um, and then Commander, I think, is just fun, right? I, I imagine that one of the, this organizer's goals, Blue, Way, Blue Highway Games. Um, one of their goals is to just nurture the Commander community. And kids just love playing Commander. Um, yeah. So, just heard about their program. Rex linked me to it uh, just the other day. But, um, yeah, it's encouraging to me to see that, that they run these things. So, they charge $200 for, um, for this four day camp. Um, and they've inspired me to, to try to put something similar together for this summer. I, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like yet, but um, the idea has been planted and I've been kicking around with it. My biggest hesitation is I don't want to charge kids um, to play, especially because uh, the community that I work in, uh, Nanakuli, like a lot of these, these kids' families just don't have extra money to spend on, on playing Magic. Um, so $200 for one week of doing stuff is pretty steep for a lot of the kids that I work with. But I, I still think that, um, you know, the, the kids in Nanakuli, you know, there, there are some good Magic players in Nanakuli, and they would benefit a lot from, from something like this. So, yeah, this, this was definitely an inspiration, and it has progressed my thinking a lot. So those are the highlights uh, that came to me from this pre-release. And um, just wanted to update everybody. So thanks for watching. Shout out to everybody. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.